Unicorns. We've all heard of them. We've all seen drawings and paintings of them. There's been hundreds of fairy tales written about them. But the darn things are so elusive they've never been seen. Not by humans on this realm, anyway. There's just never been any proof they actually exist. So what do unicorns have in common with humans calling themselves former vegans? The answer is, neither of them exist. It's actually even more impossible for an ex-vegan to exist than a unicorn. I mean, logistically, unicorns could be real. It's just a horse with a horn on his forehead. But there's no such thing as a former vegan or ex-vegan. Why? Because by the very definition of the word, being vegan is all and only about the animals. <coughs> Veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. Which means that anyone who understands this definition and who has connected the dots between all animal products and the suffering behind them would never again even consider the body parts of animals as food. Not without being completely repulsed and horrified. It would be like eating the body of one of their relatives. After they were dead, of course. I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm gonna be- <laughs> Now, it doesn't matter what reason you initially start eating a plant-based diet. You can certainly care about your health and the environment as well as the animals. But if you don't progress to caring about the animals at all, it's just a temporary diet. One that you fall off of one day because there's no commitment. There's no commitment to the animals. Especially if you start starving yourself and become completely self-centered and deluded convinced that not eating corpses has somehow made you deficient, which seems to be a common theme in the life of so-called former vegans. Anyone announcing that they're going back to eating animals or their secretions for whatever egocentric reason was merely on a temporary plant-based diet. Their only commitment was to themselves. And even though some of them gave a good show of giving lip service to caring about the animals at one point, their self-interest and ego took over and was always there at the root. Which seems to be another common theme on YouTube channels, self-interest and ego, the ones desperate for popularity and views. And it all boils down to speciesism. These people who claimed they were former vegans and fell off their diet were never able to let go of this mindset, that humans are superior to all other sentient beings. Speciesism, a belief of humans that all other species of animals are inferior and may therefore be used for human benefit without regard to the suffering inflicted. That's it in a nutshell. Get out of here! Calm uh, down! Get a hold of yourself! Stewardess, uh, please, let me handle this. Calm down, now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down! Get a hold of yourself! Don't do your one on the phone. Everything's gonna be all right. Please! Sister, please. why do you not handle this? Yourself. I gotta get out of here! I'm here! Veganism is not a cult. Veganism is not some godless religion. Veganism is not just a diet. Veganism is a justice movement, just as civil rights was a justice movement, except this is a justice movement for the animals. If your priority is not caring about the animals, then you're just on a plant-based diet. A vegan is someone with a lifetime commitment to the animals. Once a vegan, always a vegan. A vegan is forever.